Hey everyone, and welcome back to Mission 1820 and this week's episode of Have You Ever Wondered? You know, if you're just joining us, we're in a series called Books of the Bible, and we've been giving introductions into each book of the Bible in just five minutes or less. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get to this week's book. This week, we are in the book of Jeremiah. Now, this is the 24th book of the Bible, and it's also the second of the five major prophet books. Now, the book records the final prophecies to Judah, which were the warning of oncoming destruction if the nation did not repent of their sin. Now, Jeremiah calls out for the nation to turn back to God, but at the same time, he's recognizing the inevitable destruction of Judah due to their unrepentance of idolatry and immorality. The book of Jeremiah consists of 52 chapters, which makes it one of the longest books in the Bible. With that, it also makes it one of the more difficult to follow and understand. You see, unlike most of the other prophetic books which actually have a chronological arrangement, the book of Jeremiah does not. And you're going to see that there are prophecies delivered in the final years of Jeremiah's ministry, which may appear at any point in the book. Also, followed by messages that belong to other periods in his life. Mingled with his prophecies of God's approaching judgment are also historical accounts of selected events in the life of Judah, personal experiences from Jeremiah's own life, as well as poetic laments about the fate of his country. And it's rather important to be aware of this if we really want to understand the message of this great prophetic book. Now, the author of the book is Jeremiah, and it was written between the years of 630 and 580 BC. Now, the name Jeremiah literally means Yahweh throws. Now, this is just a term referring to the laying down of a foundation. The book can be broken down into four parts. The first being the call of Jeremiah. This is found solely in chapter 1. The second part is the prophecies of Judah. This is found in chapters 2 through 45. And then the third part is the prophecies to the Gentiles, and this is in chapters 46 through 51. And then the fourth part is the fall of Jerusalem, and this is found only in chapter 52. Some of the key people that you're going to read about are, in, are going to include Judah's last five kings. You're going to read about Baruch, um, Ebed Melech, as well as King Nebuchadnezzar. Some of the key places in the book include Anathoth, Jerusalem, Ramah, as well as Egypt. You see, the book of Jeremiah is also a book where we can learn a great deal about the prophet Jeremiah. You see, as we read, we can see that he was a sensitive poet who could weep over the sins of his nation, and you can read that in chapter 9, verse 1. But he was also a courageous man of God who could endure persecution and affliction as he narrowly escaped death several times while carrying out God's command to preach his message of judgment to Judah. The prophet Jeremiah, well, he had a difficult message to deliver because he loved Judah. But more importantly, he, he loved God even more. And as painful as it was for Jeremiah to deliver a message of judgment to his very own people, he was more focused on being obedient to what God had told him to do and to say. As with Jeremiah, we too must obey God, even when it's difficult to do so. We have to recognize God's will for our own lives as being more important than our own desires and to trust that God in his infinite wisdom is going to bring about his perfect plan for each of us. So with that, I hope that this introduction is going to get you started in the book of Jeremiah. So God bless and thanks for watching.